Every morning there's this beautiful serene mist and you can slowly see the sun rising through the trees and you just kind of expect to all of a sudden have this tiger crawling out. All the birds are waking up, all the animals are starting to stretch their legs and it's still really quiet. Kind of soaking in the moment. It was really, really calm, really peaceful, just being out there surrounded by nature and just taking it all in. I believe the jungle has to be enjoyed in its totality. The sights, the sounds, you know, a lot of birds and the landscape. Monkeys and wild boars and, and deer and everything else along the way. I mean, you're in a living jungle and experiencing that. We've been spending a few days on safari. The first few days, we were enthralled with an abundance of wildlife, but no tigers. Uh, whenever I travel, I try to go into a situation with an empty cup. But I got to admit, for this particular trip, uh, I really wanted to see tigers. We caught some tracks early in the morning and followed them for maybe 10 kilometers down the road. You know, we track by the footprints and seeing the footprints because of we have to see the edges, how fresh it is. And, and in a way it was very cool because it didn't happen right away. It really was searching for them. We look into the forest and sure enough, there was this majestic creature. Like As we're looking at this tiger in the wild, all of a sudden we realize there's two. And then all of a sudden it was three. And then sure enough, it was four. So that experience was just incredible. And then of course, I've got the cameras in the hands and you know, trying to focus in on these amazing eyes looking back at you. I don't know, it was like being around this elegant, majestic creature and just seeing it just prance around in the distance. It was really, it was surreal. The guides, we've become so close with them. They're so knowledgeable. Uh, it made even finding butterflies and, and birds and things. One thing is just, oh, oh my God, look at that. See the beautiful leaf here up with the red? We call it fire bush. We were used to use that flower to make a color, to color the cloths. India has something for everybody. A mix of culture, a little bit of nature, outdoors, birding, depending on the interest, the taste, the budget of the traveler. You will experience differences in cuisine and culture and just overall environment and the places that you sleep. So it is a place that if you are looking for something different, something out of your comfort zone, you, you will find that in India and it will help you grow as a person. <laughs>